Storm is brought to you by Kroger. Fresh food, low prices. All right, we're back, everybody. It is a family favorite and comfort food. Meteorologist Jacob Dickey is in the kitchen this morning cooking up a storm. And, Jacob, you say all this cooks up in a sheet pan. It really morning. does. It's a great way for a family. You, know, you throw something quick together. About 45 minutes total from start prep time to put it on the table. To so, eat time. Yeah, okay. so really easy, good meal. And it's also pre-portioned. So, mm -hmm. you know, I've got... One for four here, but you can you know adjust it accordingly if you've got a bigger family or if you or like to eat a little bit you. bigger pieces. Yeah, yeah. so we can yeah. adjust it. So already, I got started here in my my middle bowl is my meatloaf, and I went ahead and just used a recipe. We'll put it on the website, of course. But if you got your favorite meatloaf recipe, go ahead and use that there okay. and mix it all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to portion this into four different pieces here and okay. place it onto a uh, pan. Okay. I, I might actually go three pieces. I'm I'm going to go that way. I think. I might be a little hungry, so you know you can do whatever size you want. Okay. We got a little little mini meatloaf right there. That's right. gonna fit well. So everybody gets their own little loaf. That's right, and okay. it, you know keeps it from oh he got more than me or whatnot. We always <laughs> fought over food when we were well, younger. Well, when you have siblings, that's what yeah, you do. Yeah, that's exactly right. So All right. I'm just gonna put three of them on here. I think that'll be. A, You've a, got some cheese in there, huh? I did. Yeah, I put okay. a little cheese. Of course, I did not sneak any spinach though. Okay. There's no All spinach. Right. Again, he'll have this on the Facebook page. This particular recipe, but yep, if your family has one you love, use that. Absolutely. So I've got my three over here in the side. I'm gonna leave them over here, and I think we're gonna show some. Thing. The okay. next thing I'm going to do is, first off, take my gloves off. Um, potatoes, I took a, about a, a pound of potatoes and mm -hmm. I took the, uh, the russet potatoes right here and I diced them up, okay. made them look good. I'm going to dump them right here onto my foil that I've also lined with uh, some some non-stick spray. Okay. And what I'm going to do then is sprinkle a little bit of water on there. This is going to turn into mashed potatoes. It's in the, in ah. the pan for me. So really easy way. The smaller I dice them up, the easier it is to cook. I so just you don't have to boil these steam. and mash, mash later, but you'll show us if we have time. Yeah, I will. We'll, we'll get that, okay. and I've got some that's already done. I'm okay. just going to wrap that up, and uh, there we go. Look how easy that was right there. Okay. I'm going to drop it in my pan, and then okay. that's going to go in the oven for 15 minutes on 425. Okay. While I'm doing that, then I can get the rest of my stuff done. We're making our floor director work really hard here. All right. Uh, I'm going to middle bowl them on the side. I'm going to do some green beans. And the green beans are going to fill in the gaps here for mm -hmm. us. If you want to use broccoli or whatnot, all I'm going to do is put in some oil on my green beans mm -hmm. and toss them with a little salt. Yeah, okay. olive oil, whatever you want. You put a little salt in there if you want, a little pepper, whatever seasoning you want, mm -hmm. and toss them. And that's the next thing. After you pull out your meatloaf, mm -hmm. for after 15 minutes, put your green beans on there. And then another 425 degrees for another 15 minutes. Okay, do I need to flip the meatloaf? Nope, just leave it as is. Okay. I'm going to set that to the side because I want to bring out the pan, the, the final right. product here. It might okay. be a little warm. A little bit. And this is what it's going to look like here. The, the final pride and joy of this here. Now, my potatoes that are in here also, mm -hmm. they steamed really well. They did. And uh, they're in there. It's going to really help us make the mashed potatoes also. So it's all done there. And uh, what you can do is you can use a bowl or whatever and mm -hmm. mash them with potato masher. Throw those in there. Yeah, so I'm just going to drop them in there. And uh, I'm going to grab some butter and some milk and uh, start mashing. So there's about a tablespoon of butter that I'll go in. So and basically uh, you baked your potato instead of boiling them, really. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to add some it flavor. It didn't take quite as long either. It didn't. No, about 30 minutes, the whole thing's done. All you got to do here is just mash a little bit. So I got two-thirds a cup of milk, mm -hmm. some butter. And if we run out of time, I'll mash in the break. We've got about a minute. Butter. Yeah, you can go ahead and start so, mashing. Look at there. So here we can see uh, it mashes really well with that potato masher. I think mm -hmm. the... The camera is getting a good shot there. And you can mash it as much as you want. Add some garlic, some bacon, make it all you want. Some people like to peel their potatoes all the way before they do this, but I kind of like it. I do too. I think some it adds some texture and some color. Mm -hmm. And you know, I might be leave mine a little bit less mashed, but if you got kids, they're going to want it nice and pure all the they way through. Are. Yeah. And probably with some bacon. So it'll add a nice uh, mixture in there. And uh, there's my mashed potato. I think that looks good. good. Do you think that looks good? I think that looks great. So we're going to do that there. And are we got time to serve or we're going to have to wait? I tell you what, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll get it all plated sure, up. Absolutely. Show you how it looks. Meat, potatoes, and green beans. We'll do that when we come back. Stay with us. All right, we're back. Jacob has our meatloaf recipe. This is really like one dish meal here with meatloaf. It is. And the pan overall, I've got one pan, maybe a bowl, and some plates and whatnot. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to pull the meatloaf off here and serve it on my plate. Of course, I put a little ketchup on top of it because my mom, Mama Dickie, she always had ketchup on there. A little there. ketchup on the meatloaf. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, some green beans. I like to snap green beans. They look really nice with the mm -hmm. color there next to it. We yeah. mashed our potatoes before we went to break. And again, you didn't you don't have to mash them. You could have kept them just yeah. cubed like they were. And you know what would be good too? I think some sweet potatoes would be good. Oh, yeah. I love good a good big there. sweet potato. So, yeah. Here we go. Here's a nice, wholesome, That's a hearty meal. That's, hearty that meal right is there. what you call a now, comfort plate. 
Absolutely. Now, of course, I'm going to put some cheese, more cheese on my potatoes, mm -hmm. and I might have a little spinach side salad. Just, right. to just because you got to have <laughs> spinach, right? That's right. Of so. course, if you want the recipe for this, the specific meatloaf he made will be on the Facebook page. And putting all of this together, mm. always a pleasure. Great to be here. We'll see you next time. Bye.